Hello everyone, this is Zora Water. Welcome back to another episode of Golden Sun. In the last episode, we started off on our grand adventure, Three Years in the Past, where Mount Aleph Boulder comes crashing down, not killing our village, but killing three people. In this episode, um, we are now three years in the future, and we are going to go over to head to Kraden. Before we do that, however, I want to make a note of something, other than the fact that Jenna is now in our party, and they're all older. And look really cool, actually. Anyways, uh, now that it's three years later, we actually know some synergy. Uh, before we get further with it, I want to point, I want to take notice to the shortcut thing on the bottom right. If you press L or R rather than A on a particular character, you can actually assign a certain synergy to one of those buttons. So right there, I just hit move. Well, I could have just hit retreat. It also shows um what synergy you can use in and out battle, like for instance we can use Cure. And unfortunately Jenna doesn't know any usable synergy outside of battle, because right now this, this, all the synergy is ones that can be used on the field. Some of them, like Cure, can be used in battle as well, however these two cannot. So what, what do they do? Well, we just press R and that is not what I want to do. I did not want to move the little kid, I wanted to move this rock. So yeah, you have to be standing right next to an object in order to move it. Also, quick note, when you use Synergy, if if an object does not actually change to that weird purplish color, that means you can interact with it somehow. Good note. Also, down here, ruff ruff, woof woof. There are some puppies playing over there. We should let them be. They're so cute and adorable and I wish I could cuddle them. But I can't because the game dictates that I must go the right way. They seem to know little of Soul Sanctum's mysteries. The Elders of Vale must not permit anyone to enter it. Not even Kraden. Kraden. Can we use him? Hmm. His knowledge is no meager thing. We can use him. But he's more stubborn than we expected. And cunning too. Cunning beyond measure. If he won't go willingly, then we can always. You there! What are you doing? What are we doing? Were you eavesdropping on our conversation? You know what? I'm gonna be truthful. Sure. Oh, well. I can't permit you to continue your spying. Hey, you were the one sneaking around! Sneaking. Who are you to accuse me? So Craddon's engagement was with you. Yeah, we're off to meet him right now. And disappointment is enough is important enough to drive us away. Yeah. If your errand is more important than our own, then... Go. You're letting us go? Are you sure, Satyrus? Minority, you have no reason to delay these children any further. Let, let's go, Isaac. You win this round, blue hair man. And you also win this round, blonde haired woman who is red. I don't know. Anyways, let's go meet Kraden before I make a fool of myself. Just who were they? They already know too much about the Soul Sanctum. Things that even the Elders of Vale don't know. And what were they saying about the elements? Elements of alchemy, earth, fire, or er, earth, water, fire, and wind. They plan to set them into motion? And the four elemental stars are the key. These are things that even I, a trained alchemy sage, do not know. Oh, he looks troubled. Let's go talk to him. Oh, Isaac. You look like it's, you look like something's bothering you. 
Me? Ah, uh, well... It's those two, isn't it? Satyrus and Minardi were their names, right? Are they still out there? They're very persistent. Did they want something from you, Cranon? That seems to be the case. Seems to be? Mount Aleph and Soul Sanctum. They spoke as if they seen them with their own eyes. Isn't that strange? Yeah, a little bit. Yes, you can't enter at Mount Aleph without a very good reason. And if they entered secretly, then they must be thieves! You have to go tell the High Elders and the villagers. Wait, everyone! I still don't know how accurate the things they said th the things they said were. We can do nothing until we confirm what they've told me. Then what should we do? Well, we go confirm it. Do you mean we should go into Soul Sanctum ourselves? Isn't that impossible? Why would it be? Just because climbing Mount Aleph is forbidden? Kinda, yeah. We're just going to see whether they've been to the mountain. Surely that would be acceptable. We'll be fine if they don't see us, right? I guess. Right, we won't be doing anything bad up there. This'll be just our secret, right? No. No, Isaac! You can't even tell your own mother! Then it's decided. We'll make you the leader, leader okay, Isaac? Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. No one makes Zora the leader because Zora can't lead. There's some dangerous places between Mount Aleph and Soul Sanctum. So I'll take over if you get nervous. If Garrett's our leader, we'll be the ones who are nervous. Don't you agree, Gradin? You don't have to be so mean. And even now, I don't freaking understand why there's a lava pit thingamajigger in this house! This is our best bet. Alright, let's go! Alright, and you can actually enter into Kraden's house for whatever the reason. I don't understand what this freaking pot of lava is. I would understand it more if it wasn't pot. Er... If it wasn't a pot of boiling lava, it looks like a pot of boiling lava. That's what I mean to say, alright? Alright, uh, it is way too late for me to record this, but you know what? I stopped caring a long time ago. Anyways. Uh, all we have to do is head up to the mountain. We just have to head north. So, let us go north. Oh, hi! You're not planning on sneaking up the Mount Alif, are you? No. Well, I'll overlook it this time. But I got my eye on you, Isaac. Alright, so here we are at the soul entrance. The entrance to the soul sanctum. I did not mean to do that. I meant to go through the door. This is the entrance of to, to soul sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Yeah. It's an important relic of our past. Take a good look at it. Take a good look at the... However many pixels by however many pixels this tiny room is of insignificance. Anyways, this is essentially our little dungeon area place thing. Uh, you're gonna... You wanna get used to this, because you're gonna see a lot of this. Anyways, um... About this area, actually. It's a little tip that I know of, but uh, I don't actually utilize, because I really, really hate level grinding. Is the fact that, um... If you... You can actually grind up your levels here. I believe you can only have a maximum of 10 levels. However, if you kill off Jenna, and I mean kill off Jenna, like her HP goes down to zero, you can have Isaac and Garrett level past that level cap. One, I'm not gonna sit here and grind up 10 levels to show it to you. 
two, that's kind of morbid, killing off one of our friends just so that the others can get stronger. And three, I see no point in it early on. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't really understand where I'm going. So yeah, you're gonna have to get used to this. Also, um, when, I'm, when we run into a battle next time, uh, that's also the wrong way. I also want to show off the synergy that we can use in battle, like right now! Alright, so Isaac unfortunately has nothing, so he, is, he just has Cure. Uh, Garrett and Jenna both have Flare, which is a fire element, uh, Mars element, whatever you want to call it. And really, you actually dodged out of my way! So yeah, um, let's see. When you're using Synergy, you have a few things. You have the name of the attack, the amount of uh, Synergy points it takes, which is four, the element, which is denoted by the little circle thing, and the amount of targets it can target. Um, right now, this uh, flare is only set to three. And really, Jenny, you couldn't even kill that? It's a little bit more tricky than you think, because you think, oh, I can just target three enemies. It's a little bit more tricky than that, and I'll show off in the next battle. Right here, or right now, we just have a small jewel we need to pick up. And from there, we actually want to go to the right path. I usually get super lost in this, uh, I did again. I usually get super lost in this first section, and I don't know why, it's just, ah. Anyways, I'm gonna go over here, and look, it's a minotaur head. It's a relic, it's a relief of a minotaur. The right eye is sparkling, but there's a hole where the left eye should be. Gee, I wonder what happens. If you actually interact with an object, and you're supposed to use an object on it, it's gonna automatically just bring up that window for you, so you don't have to. And you hear the sound of shifting stone. All right, so there is another battle. Congratulations. I actually, this is not a good. That's not. That's not really a good way of what I wanted to show. Actually, dang it. <laughs> oh come on, you've got to run. Yeah, get used to this. It's gonna happen a lot. And Isaac, please don't die. This is only the second episode. You're not allowed to die. All right, so now we just need to head over to the left path now. Which you need to get off this little junction, and you want to go over here on this set of stones. And once we get over here, I freaking hate- Okay, that's it. That's it. You guys are dying. I don't care. You guys are dying. How I usually battle is a really bad way of battling, actually. I don't use synergy very often in boss battles or in normal battles. In normal battles, I literally just hit, sit here, spamming the A button, and having them attack. Which usually works, and I don't actually fight any monsters that are three or more. That's fun, isn't it? And here we are in the checkerboard room, I guess you can call it. What's wrong, Kraden? Hmm. Those two said there were there was a hidden passage leading deeper into the sanctum. I've come here many times, and I've always thought it looked strange. I have always imagined Soul Sanctum would look different somehow. What do you mean? Soul Sanctum was built in honor of the sun. There ought to be something here to reflect that. I was always puzzled why there wasn't. If there is a hidden passage, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. I think he's serious. Should we help him, Isaac? You know, if we don't help him, he's never gonna let us hear the end of it. But it's too dangerous for us to split up. We should stay together. Alright, let's go. So, we have two different passageways. If I'm correct, you want to take the right passage. If you take the left passage, you're stuck in a loop, and I think there might be an herb there, but I'm not entirely sure, and I'd rather not test it out. So, over here, this is actually a little bit annoying, I actually don't remember where to go exactly. I hate your gods. We have a new monster! Slime! A uh, slime, if I recall, can actually call more slimes. Which is a little bit annoying, so you wanna try to get rid of them. Anyways, you wanna go to the left side and- You know what? You- you are just going to die. Die by my blade and it actually tried to run. I'm actually surprised it tried to run. Uh, you want to go up here, and there's a treasure chest, and what is in the treasure chest? Well, there is a small jewel. 
Yeah, you see, you see where this is going, right? Right? And this is where I start skipping battles because I care less about this. I also am lost. You know, I'm actually not sure which is more pitiful. The fact that I underlevel or the fact that I couldn't run away from two simple enemies. Like, holy crap. I believe you want to go left? And you go through this door. Yeah, I get used to that. You're gonna see a lot of cuts here. I'm so sorry. More statues. Hmm. It doesn't look like we can reach we can reach them from here. Perhaps synergy is the key. Isaac, try to use your synergy. Okay, so remember when I said you can move objects as, as long as you're next to them? I, I kind of lied. As long as there's a, at least one square um, between you guys, you can still move it. Anyways, let's see. I think the one you want to move is to the right. Okay, maybe the second right. The third right? I actually don't remember. I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I, it, it actually might be the left, and I, I'm gonna be really sad if it is. Yeah, it's the left. I hate your guts. Alright, so we have to do the same thing as we did before, just use a small jewel on the minotaur head. And with that, it actually opens up a door. So, I believe it opens up one of the ones on the right. Yep, it opens up on the right. If I recall... Yes, there is another door here, which is absolutely- Oh wait, this is the loop I was talking about, never mind. Uh, this- um, that one actually is a loop and you don't want to go in there. Alright, so from here... I think there might be a treasure chest with herb over there, but I really couldn't care less right now. And look what we found! This is it! We found it! Clearly, this is the mark of the sun. The heart of Soul Sanctum. It's just as I've imagined, which means those two were telling the truth. But if what they said what is what they said was true, then that means they must have been They were thieves! They came to rob the Sanctum! Let's hurry back to the village and tell everyone! Craddon? What's the matter? We're so close. Close? Close to what? We've come all the way to the heart of Soul Sanctum. To turn our backs on it and leave. There's something wrong with that? Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to... What do you think? Shall we go a little farther? You can say whatever the heck you want, but just for the sake of saying it. Thank you! If you put it that way, we don't have much choice. I'm with Cranon. I want to look inside. Really? We'll just go a little bit further. Good. It's decided. Let's move ahead. Ah, I always said yes because I was hoping you'd do that little heart emote thing in Majigger. I keep on forgetting that's a part of the cutscene anyway. Anyways, let's go over to the right. Wh what is this room? There's a moon in the center. A picture of Luna. This must symbolize night. These rooms must be connected somehow, don't you think? Yeah. Luna and Sol. These rooms must hide some secret. What could it be? What does it all mean? Isaac, would you look farther up the passage? Oh, uh, heck no, old man. Then just wait there. If you honestly think I'm gonna sit here and wait for that old man, you you are dead wrong. I'm gonna go up ahead. <laughs> uh, he gives us no choice. 
All right, so down here we have Luna and Sol over there. And then you see, I forgot to mention, um, not you can um, ba 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 ba. Uh, when you use move, you can see that there are some objects you can interact with. However, another way to notice it is you look on the ground. If you see any dotted lines or any lines that seem a little out of place, it usually means you can move them. So, what happens if we move this statue? Whoa, what's happening? Isaac must have found something. Isaac, stop! You're about to make a big mistake! Wait, Isaac! What's wrong, Craddon? This is the most interesting me mechanism you found, Isaac. But this is clearly some kind of trap. This is... A trap? Go look in the Luna room and you'll understand. You've done well. Finding this means you're looking in the right place. But if you just move one statue, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. But... Why would anyone put a trap here anyway? I don't know who did it, but they've hid something very important. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Should I tell you more? You know what, I'm actually super curious. Hmm. Honestly, I doubt you could understand it if I explained now. We must try to find another solu uh, solution to this mystery. Sheesh. Another mystery? I'll keep checking the Lunar Room. You continue exploring the Sanctum. My intuition tells me that light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. Isaac, let's see if we can't figure this out ourselves. By the way, don't go back to the Lunar Room because it's actually not going to help you out. <laughs> what you're supposed to do is actually you want to go over here and you want to push these two statues. Well, there's another statue to love, you just can't see it. And they shoot out a beam of light onto the floor. You want to take the other one and you want to do exactly the same. Get used to this puzzle solving, It's <laughs> it gets a little bit worse as you play the game. Once you do that, I for some reason the beams of light cross and they... Uh, Create a hole in the ground. Don't cross the beams, guys. Anyways, move the statue and put it into the hole. Something clicked! With an exclamation mark. Now, let's see what happens if we push one of these statues. What? What? what what's happening? Isaac must have found something. You found it, Isaac! Craddon! Excellent work, Isaac. No help from Jenna or Garrett. Where did that hole come from? When Isaac moved the statues, two beams of light shot out from them. And then this hole appeared on the floor. And Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. Hmm. Good work, everyone. So the tra the statue puzzle was the trap. And that, that other statue was here to disarm the trap. And now that you've disarmed it, we should be alright. I'll observe from the Lunar Room, where it's safe. You handle the rest. 
Gee, thanks a lot, Craddin. We're gonna go back to the Luna Room, where it's nice and safe, in case more lightning bolts come down from the ceiling in this area. What a nice old man he is, isn't he, guys? I can't do sarcasm when I'm really tired, if it wasn't obvious. Alright, so once we push all four of these... Alright, now that Luna's turned to soul, let's see what happens real quick. Wanna go up here? Look, Isaac! The picture of Luna changed to soul! But other than that, nothing looks different. That's strange. They wanted the trouble of putting a trap here. And this is all that happened? Somewhere, something else must have changed. We must find it. And we shall. In the next episode. This is Zor Water, signing out. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!